There is no what if. I am pregnant. And it is Jesus. What? Hey guys, another day, another crazy on Dr. Phil. So this girl is 15, and she's saying she's pregnant, and the baby is baby Jesus. Jesus been done and born already. Girl, you 20, 18 years too late. I'm nine months pregnant. My family, my friends, my pastors at church, they don't believe that I'm pregnant. Pregnant? Bitch looks like she just had a double-double with some fries. Me after eating dinner. <laughs> if you're nine months she would be like a watermelon. I'm not stupid. I'm not crazy. I'm tired of playing these games and it's about to be over with. <laughs> Everybody just laughing at her. Her mom's like, okay, you want attention? You know what? Let's call Dr. Phil. He loves bitches and want attention. I am now days away from giving birth and they're like, you're not pregnant. You're uh, too tiny. You're probably just getting fat. Something tells me she's not actually pregnant. I mean, wouldn't a simple pregnancy test solve this? One of my biggest temptations is wanting to whack you across the head. I know it's Jesus. I don't care if my family disowns me. It really comes down to if you're a true believer in Jesus or not. Somebody reading too much Bible. This poor girl done tricked herself that A, she pregnant. B, it's Jesus. She dead serious too. I know it's Jesus. I know you're crazy. There's no denying that. I know my pregnancy is real. See, I've gained at least 22 pounds. I was sleeping one night and my baby punched the bottom of my stomach and kicked me up. And I can feel his head right here. It's like right below my belly button. That's your spleen! She's actually insane. Her family can't even be serious in the Dr. Phil promo video. I took six urine tests and they all came back negative. <laughs> yup, that's how you know it's baby Jesus. If the pregnancy test says you're not pregnant, but you are pregnant. Oh my God, this can only mean one thing. It's Jesus. You ain't pregnant. I took six urine tests and they all came back negative. So I specifically asked for a blood drawn pregnancy test because I have a rare blood type. The doctors have refused to give me a blood test. They refused to give her a blood test. I wonder why. She probably started talking about, oh, I need to know because it's definitely baby Jesus. But they're like, nah, get this crazy out of here. I don't care what the home pregnancy test or the doctor say. When I give birth to my baby, no one is going to deny him because he is my savior. Okay, so he's her savior, but he's already done and lived his life. But now what? He being reincarnated as a baby and she knows it's him. Wait, what? My stomach looks like that too after I have a burger and fries. It must be baby Jesus. So you know what Dr. Phil did? He got a nurse and they're gonna do a live pregnancy test on the show. Comment below, is she pregnant or not pregnant? First, I am gonna have you lift up your shirt just a little bit. This is my first ultrasound. If you were pregnant, you would have been done had an ultrasound. I bet she really pushing her stomach out right now. Like, oh, I gotta look pregnant. You know, like nine months pregnant. This three months, it ain't doing it. Do you feel tension in your family right now? Definitely. We she are started recording me. Her sister looks exactly like her. Look at this. They are literally the same person, but with a different hair color. Oh my God, this is a bigger conspiracy theory than the baby Jesus thing. Why aren't y'all talking about that? We she started recording me and um, you know, little things already kind of make me mad. So her sister was recording her. Hey girl, what's in your tummy? Hey girl, what is that? Whose baby is that? What's, what's going on? Trying to get some good Snapchat gold. The whole reason we got in a fight and stuff is because she was acting crazy. She was going off because we had woken up because we were brushing our teeth and she was just started going ballistic crazy. So we got a household of three girls. They constantly fighting and recording each other and putting it on world star. All right, I think y'all have bigger problems. You You're were gonna trying do to me. swing at me as soon as you walked out of the door. It's so not I true. have a red mark that one of the guys have it all on video on my chest. And I have it all on video. No, not while you were walking Yes, out I do. The door. Where is this video? I want to see this video. What are y'all talking about? I'm so confused. Okay, back to the baby. Your mother and sister think you lie. Have you told some things that aren't true? True. Not the pregnancy, because you, you say that is true, but have you told some things that aren't true? I lie about where I'm going and stuff sometimes. Every single teenager lies to their parents about where they're going. They could do it once or they could do it every single time. Well, I made a list. So these are all the lies that this girl has told. I've had my tonsils taken out. My mom was doing meth when pregnant with me. <laughs> 
I mean, that might actually be believable. I pay for everything in this house. How you pay for someone when you don't work? I have a lawyer to help get my disability check. Lawyer? Disability? This girl is 15. I went to college for two weeks. She's 15. I've had a job, a driver's permit since 14. I give every check to my family. This girl is 15 and making up all these crazy lies. I have my GED. I can't hold a job because of my diagnosis. I have a rare blood type. Only a blood test can tell if I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm nine days away from giving birth. I got pregnant December 31st by my ex-boyfriend. What? He's not baby Jesus then. Mary didn't need a man to get pregnant with baby. Jesus, that's what made him so special. Y'all didn't even read the Bible. Did you have your tonsils taken out? Did I? No. Well, you said you did. Uh, I don't think that was me. I don't think I've. I don't think I've had my tonsils taken out. This is just stupid lie. Not with the other sister. You know, the one that looks exactly like me. I don't remember saying that. It was on your records from the health department that you put on there saying that you had your tonsils removed. Records from the health department? Mm-hmm, I saw it. That I put on the records from the health department? Yes, that you had I your tonsils taken I did not say that. It. What do you guys think? This girl is such full of shit. Spoke full sentences before I started crawling. Yeah. No, she spoke. She I've been in the doctor's speaking, office. Well, not crawling, yeah. walking. Yeah, well, it's the same thing because, you know, a baby stands up. <laughs> Before I could even stand up and walk, I could speak full sentences, recite Shakespeare. I've already been done and read The Great Gatsby before I could even walk. Guys, as you can see, she's obviously a genius. And because she's a genius, her baby ended up being Jesus. That's a lie. Did you I donate a kidney to your brother? I have not donated a kidney to my brother. My mom told me while she was mad at me one day, my mom only had gotten pregnant with me to use me as a guinea pig for my brother because he was so sick. Oh my God! What the actual fuck? Is this seriously a thing? She yeah. had you for parts? So, yeah, something like that. Yeah. No, you were a surprise. Yes. Her mom even admits, oh, you were a surprise. <laughs> no, you were a surprise. Yes. Not you were a mistake, you were a surprise, which is a nice way of putting it. Do you know that you said that? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I did not say that. Yes, you did. I've you are not a lie detector test, and you need to I don't shut need it. One. That's real good. Anybody try to call you out for lies? Bitch, you are not a lie detector test, so you need to turn yourself off. They're also trying to say that I don't have paranoid schizophrenia when it's all in the paperwork. You never said that. So okay. I didn't we never say, that. To say that. I don't okay. know what that is. That needs to get off the screen. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You need to get off the screen because I didn't say that. You ask for an ultrasound. How did that go? That was my first ultrasound and yeah. it was kind of weird. Like she was pressing really hard and stuff and I could feel him kick and stuff, but it was, it was kind of weird. It was probably the kidney her brother was supposed to get. Like, get me out of this crazy bitch. Can we just stop and look at this skin filter real quick? Dr. Phil, you gotta chill. They got to Actual smoothing filter. Like, like, look at that. You good? You know, it's interesting because I feel the most notable thing on this ultrasound isn't what we see, it's what we don't see. Plot twist! We don't see a baby! Top 10 anime betrayals. This is a pelvic ultrasound, and the ultrasound machine is basically showing your abdomen the area exactly where you would expect to see the pregnancy, and there is no baby. No! How could you do me like this? So there's no baby! Jesus? And this is scanning all across your abdomen, looking everywhere. And if you look there, it is scanning every possible area where your baby would be. And there, there's no baby. And if you show this. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I would f***ing die. She just sitting here like, mm, look at her face. And if you show this, Dr. <laughs> Phil, a still image of Haley's next to what an ultrasound would look like at eight and a half months the baby is almost fully developed that is that is what an ultrasound would look like man you a hater only haters will say it's fake there's no baby well dr. Stork she says that she is nine days away from delivery which is virtually full term nine days away from delivering a big fat shit Haley did have dilated loops of bowel Weak old Taco Bell sitting in there, just waiting to get out. Oh, that's probably the kicking you felt. There is no what if. I am pregnant. And it is Jesus. There's absolutely no indication of a pregnancy. <laughs> oh my God. So all the food she ate, hoping it would 
could just go to her stomach and make it look like she was pregnant actually distributed throughout her whole body and she ended up gaining like 50 pounds. Bitch, was this worth it to fake your pregnancy? How are you? Doing a little worse than I was last time. Worse! You are publicly humiliated, did not end up having baby Jesus, and everybody hates you. When you were here last time, you were adamant that you were pregnant. One night, um, I had woken up and I went to the bathroom and then I looked at my stomach, you know, I was feeling around and stuff and my stomach had went completely flat. I wonder why, you know, when you eat and you process the food and then you go into a room called the bathroom and sit on a thing called the toilet and stuff comes out. Interesting. And then I started bleeding. And then I was like, oh my god, I just had a miscarriage. Oh my god, I get a miscarriage too, like every month. Then I, I, I started thinking about it and I was like, nothing came out except blood. <laughs> I've never been pregnant before and my stomach had swelled up to a very large amount. Mm -hmm. And I've never had it swollen up like that before. Guys, girls, do you hear that? If your stomach ever gets like really big, it means you're pregnant. 110% pregnant. You were shown an ultrasound when you were here and it was blank. How do you feel about that now? I didn't think it was a real ultrasound. Yeah, not real. It's just about as real as your pregnancy. Oh, wait, that means it's fake. <laughs> But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys think this girl is crazy and want a part two, make sure you hit that like button in the face and subscribe to join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.